Hey everybody, and welcome to the next video in this Outfit Studio tutorial series. Although it's actually a bit of a misnomer since we aren't actually going to use Outfit Studio in this video. I had originally intended for us to get busy right away learning how to fix clipping. But as I was scripting that video, I felt like it got really bogged down in just the workflow process. So I decided to switch to Plan B and cover the workflow separately. And do that up front because we need a solid base to build upon as we move forward to more difficult things. This will be in four parts, with one video for each. First, how to find and get your outfit meshes, whether they are loose files or packed in a BSA. Second, how to take your outfits into Outfit Studio, make some simple changes, and then get them back out. Third, how to use NIFScope to check your work and reorder meshes if needed. And finally, how to go about testing your outfits in Skyrim. I will try to get these four videos out fairly quickly so we can move on to more exciting things without too much delay. Note that there is actually a fifth part of the workflow, adding the outfit to a mod. But that requires more knowledge than I'm ready to dump on you right now, so we'll cover that in the future. For the moment, if you are willing to use a demo mod that I've set up to go along with this tutorial, then adding our first few outfits into the game will already have been done for you. If you already know how to do all of the workflow steps that I'm going to cover in these four videos, that's great! And I'm sorry you'll have to wait a bit longer for the more complicated stuff. But I did not think it would be helpful for the new folks if I skipped over these very important steps, or if I just glossed over them lightly, because they are the foundation of our outfit building and they're critical to our overall outfit workflow success. So I'll beg for your patience while we finish laying these bricks, and I promise we will get to more exciting things as the series continues. Here is an overview of what we will be doing in this video, and you can use the timestamps in the video description to skip to specific steps. This is going to be a video for beginners. I will assume that you don't know how to do these steps yet, so I will be going slow and explaining in detail. If that's not what you're looking for, then this video is probably not for you. I mentioned that I created a demo mod as a companion for this tutorial series. This mod is a simple set of outfits and accessories that use assets from Petrovich's LE mods called UNP Simply Clothes, UNP Leather Clothes, and DG High Heels. And the links to those original mods can be found on my demo mod page. I will be using this companion mod that I created to walk through a number of different Outfit Studio activities, and you can download it to follow right along with me for many of these videos. Even if you don't want to do that, you might want to download it as a practice mod, a safe place where you can mess around with outfits and try things out without messing up any of your other mods. You can find the demo mod called Simply for Practice here on the Nexus, and the link is in this video's description. If you would like to use it, head over to that page, then download and install it as you normally would via your mod manager. Be sure to activate it in your load order. If you opt not to download the demo mod, that's totally fine. But please do take a moment right now to decide which mod or folder you're going to extract meshes into when we get to that step in a few minutes. Okay, the first part of our workflow is finding the meshes in the first place. This is pretty easy if they are included in a mod as loose files, meaning that when you open the mods folder, you see a meshes folder. And inside this meshes folder, you are able to see files that end in .nif. We've done this already if you followed along with the basics video, but let's do it again real quick as a refresher. Navigate to wherever your mod manager keeps its mod folders. If you aren't sure and you use MO2, you can get to them easily by finding the mod in your list on the left, double clicking on it, and then selecting the file tree tab up here at the top. 
Click on the button that says Open Mod in Explorer and the window will pop up. I highly recommend pinning the folder where your mods are stored. That way it will always be up here in Windows Explorer. To pin a folder, simply right click on it and select Pin to Quick Access. You can always undo that later if you want by clicking the folder in the Quick Access bar and selecting Unpin from Quick Access. Okay, once you have the mod folder open, find the Meshes folder. Double click to open it and keep double clicking until you find the .nif files. These are called loose packed files and they are easy to work with because we can just grab them or open them directly from here. For example, I can just double click on this top underscore zero file here and it opens in NIFScope because I already have that tool set up. Or I could drag and drop it into the Outfit Studio window to get started working on it. So that's how we can find loose NIF files. But what do you do if you open the mods folder only to find that there is no meshes folder and instead all you have are a couple of files some of them being these things that end in .bsa. These BSAs are archives, and the meshes are packed inside of one of these. The Skyrim armor and outfits that come with the game itself are all packed in this way. And some mod outfits get packed this way too. But fear not, we can still get our hands on these meshes. We just need the right tools. To get the meshes out of a BSA, you need an archive extraction program. There are several options, but the one I'm going to show you is BAE, the Bethesda Archive Extractor. You can find this program here on the Nexus. It is not a mod, it is a standalone tool, much like Outfit Studio. So you just manually download it, Double click to open the zip file and move the contents to a folder on your computer. As a best practice, you generally don't want to put things in your programs or programs 86 folders. That's because Windows can be weird about stuff that is located there and sometimes software won't work properly. I recommend making yourself a modding tools folder right in your C drive and then putting things like BAE, NIFScope, etc. into that folder. We don't need or want to run BAE through MO2, so don't worry about that. Okay, so I'm going to drag and drop the BAE files I've just downloaded and opened in this zip folder into a new folder that I made on my computer called BSA Extractor which I've created inside a main folder called Modding Tools right in my C drive. From here, I can just double click the executable file. It will end in .exe if you have file extensions turned on, which I highly recommend. And BAE will open in this little window. If you use this tool a lot, you can create a desktop shortcut by right clicking on the executable selecting Create Shortcut, and then dragging the new shortcut to your desktop. All right, we've got BAE installed and now we are ready to put it to use. We're going to extract a few meshes from one of the Skyrim archives, and we will use these meshes in some upcoming videos. First, if you don't already have the BAE window open, Open it by either double clicking the executable file in the folder or using the desktop shortcut if you created one. Next, open Windows Explorer if you don't already have that open and navigate to where Skyrim's game data is located. This should be Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Skyrim Special Edition, and Data. Scrolling down in this window, you can see there are quite a few BSA files. We want meshes, and I happen to know that the meshes we want, 
the Archmage robes are in the meshes 0.bsa. Simply drag this meshes 0 BSA over to the BAE window and let go. You should now see something like this. Click the little arrow next to the top level file name and it will expand folders underneath. Keep clicking the little arrows next to meshes, then close, then archmage. For this example, we are going to take the archmage robes for both female and male. So expand these last two folders called F and M as well. So notice right now that there is a check mark in each box next to every single folder and every single NIF file in this archive. That means we literally have everything inside this BSA selected. And if we hit extract, it will pull out every single file that's located within the BSA. That's a lot of files and we don't want or need that. We just want the Archmage robes. So scroll up to the top of this window and tick the box next to the Skyrim Meshes 0.bsa file name. That will untick all of the folders and files located beneath it. You can also click on the Select None up here at the top, but just note that this will close all the folders back up. Now scroll back down reopen the folders if needed, and then only tick the files you want. For our example, we want Archmage Robes F underscore zero, Archmage Robes F underscore one from the female folder, and we want Archmage Robes M underscore zero, and Archmage Robes M underscore one from the male folder. With only those four files ticked on, hit the big extract button at the bottom. Now we have to tell the program where to put the meshes that it's about to extract. If you're using the demo mod for this tutorial called Simply for Practice, navigate to that mod's main folder and select it. If you are not using the demo mod, decide where you'd like to put these meshes and select that folder instead. One word of warning here, the files will be extracted in the same folders that are shown in the BAE window meaning that you're going to get meshes, close, archmage, F and M folders with the files nestled all the way down inside as shown here. That's fine, but be sure that you do not select the meshes folder inside your mod as the extraction location, or you will end up with meshes nested inside meshes. I'll show you that in a minute. For now, select the main mod folder in our example here, it's called Simply for Practice, and hit Select Folder. You may not see anything happen, and you might wonder if it didn't work, because we only had four files, and they were extracted so quickly that you probably didn't see anything. That's fine. Just navigate to the mod folder that you specified as the extraction location. It's Simply for Practice if you're using the demo mod, and check to make sure the meshes showed up there. Note that this extraction process will not overwrite any existing meshes folder inside the mod. It will simply merge the extracted folders and files into the meshes folder that you've already got. So you don't have to worry about losing anything during this process. If you don't have a meshes folder already, it will create one. If you accidentally selected the meshes folder in your mod as the extraction location, then you're going to have a nested meshes folder inside the meshes folder. We have to fix this or else Skyrim won't be able to find these Archmage robe NIFs. You can tell whether or not this happened by opening the mod's meshes folder. If you see a second folder inside that's also called meshes, then that's what happened. But don't fret, it's an easy fix especially if you don't have many files. First, let's rename the extra meshes folder so we don't get confused. Slow click on it, then change its name to something obvious like extra mesh folder and hit enter. Then right click on this folder and select open in new window. Put the window for the original meshes folder and the window for the extra mesh folder right next to each other. 
Then double click to open the extra mesh folder so that you can see a folder called clothes inside of it. Click and drag this clothes folder over into the original meshes folder in the other window. And make sure you can see clothes inside of it. Keep opening the folders if you want to confirm that the Archmage robes are indeed down in there somewhere. If you still have the BAE window open with the archive structure visible, you can compare your folder structure to make sure everything is in the right place. Once that's all confirmed, just click on the extra mesh folder and hit delete on your keyboard. Now you should be good to go. Pro tip, you can always use BAE to simply view a BSA folder structure without even doing the extraction. This can be helpful if you're making a replacement NIF and you want to be sure you've got the file in the right place with the right structure for the folders. And that's it for now. We'll be playing around with these extracted meshes in Outfit Studio in the next video, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.